Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're working on our air and snow blower, and today's video we're going to talk about the most common causes that lead to an engine not starting. Some of them may seem silly, but we got to check them. Let's head outside and take a look. All right, YouTubers outside at the snow blower now, and in the event that you are trying to start your snow blower and the darn thing is just not starting. Well, I'm going to run you through the most common causes. And it's possible that one of these are out of line and don't be embarrassed, we've all done it. Number one, make sure your key is in the on position. Number two, make sure your choke control is in the start position. Number three, your fuel control. Make sure that is shifted to the on position. And number three, verify that you've properly primed your engine. You'll notice a hole in the actual tip or face of the primer bulb. The manual states that this is very important. Make sure your thumb is completely covering that hole. Prime it three times without taking your thumb or finger off that actual hole. That will allow this primer bulb to properly prime the engine. Next, obviously verify you have fuel and go ahead and start your engine. Once you get that engine run and let that engine run at idle for about five minutes. Let that engine warm up and also let that engine burn off any fuel or additional fuel that possibly caused a flooding situation inside the engine. Again, let it run at idle for five minutes minimum. At this point, I've got the engine turned off. We let it run for about 10 minutes and warm up. However, in the event that you've gone through all these steps and you still cannot get your engine started, focus on the actual fuel make sure your cap is tight and make sure you have fuel inside your tank and if you do ask yourself when's the last time I inserted fuel in that tank a couple years ago if that's the case chances are you may have contaminated or useless fuel causing you issues so you may need to drain the actual tank and purchase new fuel what I always recommend with snowblowers fuel wise, purchase recreational fuel, which is a non-ethanol fuel and it lasts a long time. And it also does not gunk up any portions of your system or fuel parts or filter as well as any other portion of your engine that's very important so hopefully this helps hopefully that you can get your snowblower up and running do us a favor youtubers below the video you will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. And one more thing, YouTubers, we have an entire playlist on working on our snowblower. It's got a bunch of helpful videos. Definitely check that out. You may find them helpful.